What's up everybody, I'm that dude BA and I'm back with my second video. My first video of Madden 25, uh, the demo version of course, and my first game I wanted to use the Seattle Seahawks going up against the Green Bay Packers. I don't know about anyone else, I'm excited about the Seahawks this year. I mean they're not my favorite team, but with the additions of Percy Harvin and Antoine Winfield it, as a big addition to that secondary with Sherman and all them, I think the Seahawks could personally compete with the Niners, but enough of my excitement, let's get into this game. So I believe that first play I was trying to send a B gap and it did get there. The second play I get spun out of my shoes by Aaron Rodgers because apparently he can juke now. Uh, I injured him right there also. Got him to punt because uh, they didn't convert. And early on I think I was trying to run the ball a lot as you can see there. Remember that stiff arm. I'm trying to use the stiff arm a lot because, uh, especially with people like Marshawn Lynch, like you'll see here, watch, he completely just threw, I think that's MD Jennings, to the floor. And I'm also trying to uh, use what pretty much everyone else is really interested in right now, which is the read option. So I'm just trying it out. I think I'll run a stretch there. And again, you see me trying to stiff arm because I've, I looked in the depth chart. Marshawn Lynch uh, has some really good stiff arm and trucking, which isn't a surprise. And I think this game, I was running the ball really good and passing the ball really terrible. Um, I do get a couple of completions like that one. But I was trying to focus on the running a lot more than usual. Because back in Madden 13, as you may have seen in my montage, I don't like to run. I just don't think it's that good to run in Madden 13 personally. But this is Madden 25. And I like the, the direction they're moving in with improving the running. Do I think some things are still gonna need to be fixed yeah like personally I don't like that you have to hold LT for things like a super truck stick or the uh, stiff arm or a really good spin mover juke but that's just my opinion I'll get used to it um, the controls are a bit different I didn't play NCAA 14 I'm just not an NCAA person so I had to get used to a bit this game but it didn't really bother me that much so you see I scored when um, on a double move, I think that was to Baldwin, and I don't really know what to do on defense, because I don't really know any nanos, even though I get a sack right there, and I'm not sure what I what I chose on defense, I think that was edge thing, and tell me how that is not a user pick, I don't know, but at least they punted, so I do get my credit for going on defense, and right there, you see I'm trying to juke a lot, but obviously I'm not holding LT, so it's not going to work. Again, trying to run the ball, and I'm stupid for running to Clay Matthews' side. And uh, BJ Raji, being the fat sack of crap he is, he uh, stops me. And I see a butt behind naked over the middle. But I think I was trying to see whether or see how hard it was to get a spec catch on this game. And I don't know why I rolled out there. I felt pressure that wasn't there, I guess. And, of course, Marshawn doesn't come down with it. I didn't expect him to. And how's that on a user pick? I'm trying to figure out how many user picks I should have had this game. Um, right there, Eddie Lacy. All my friends tell me they don't like running with Eddie Lacy, and I don't get it. Eddie Lacy, to me, is really good. He may be slow, but he is running. Now, look at this play right here. I put a flat zone out there. Brandon Browner doesn't react. Not only that, then I miss two tackles. Or my bad, I miss one tackle, and he breaks the other tackle and scores. So I was pretty mad about that. Again, not holding LT because I'm not used to the new controls, so I'm trying to juke, and he's just standing there twitching his little feet. I get the ball back. I'm trying to uh, figure out some five wide, trying to get a little bit of passing going, trying to get another spec catch, but Harvin doesn't react. I think this is the lead option. Um, I don't know whether I should have pitched it there. I don't think I should have. And right here, just to let you guys know, I tried the FL screen. It still works. And personally, I'm not too happy about that because a lot of people used it. Like I said, I'm not passing very good this game. I can see that RB was butt naked on that play. And remember that Percy Harvin, not only is he fast, which everyone knows, now apparently he has really good trucking. And I don't think that should happen. He's a small dude. He's a really good player, but I don't think a small dude like that should be trucking people. But that's just my opinion. And we go back on defense. So uh, right now, I don't have any good pass or run defense. 
and just trying to contain Eddie Lacy. We stop him. We get the ball back. And uh, what I think... Okay, no. I was One tip I can give you guys right now is if you use the acceleration burst, which is RT for Xbox, and I think... Uh, I don't know what it is for PS3. You can get a really big burst uh, more than once, and it'll help you cut corners and uh, perform jukes that aren't actually juke moves. So you use that. We went over the top with Golden Tate on a poster. Not a lot of people do that, but I like to. Um, try, again, trying to run the read option. Now, right there, my fingers slipped. I went to press RT to juke, and I actually hit LT. And I'm just going to go ahead and say I got that Vigi, and I got the touchdown. So obviously I'm happy about that. Up 21-7, to and I'm feeling real good in the third quarter. Um, I'm not really sure what happens here. I think I stumbled trying to catch Randall Cobb. And uh, I think I missed another user pick, or I get a pick on this drive. We'll see. Uh, the computer is like the only player that actually hits the flats as many times as they do. And there's the stiff arm, but from Eddie Lacy. Um, send some right edge heat, and send more right edge heat. Now, I want to know two things. How did I not get that sack, and how did I not get that pick? I don't know. Well, watch this punt return. I, I started to get a little jiggy right there. See, I run backwards. Now, I don't know who Blackman is. He might be a rookie, but he is fast, and we could. could no, of course. I get stuffed at, I think, the 30, 40-yard line, and... I ran a play-action read, and I think Russell Wilson's arm got caught on an O-lineman, which is stupid, because I had, I think, Y butt behind naked. And again, not not really making good reads, because uh, I'm trying to figure out what kind of offense I'm going to run this year. And uh, that's another thing I don't like right there. You see how long it took me to turn around with Wagner? Um, in Madden 13, you could turn around a lot longer, and... I don't know. I, I just don't like that. I was trying to. I thought I was gonna get a pick until he turned around really slow. And right there, testing out cover two to see if it's still as bad as it was in Madden 13, and you can clearly see it is because I give up a touchdown. So that doesn't feel good. Uh, all right. How long are you gonna be? You said you're gonna be ten minutes. Yeah. Um. Sorry, guys. That was my dad. Um. We get a fumble right there. Or they get a fumble. It's not actually a fumble. He was down, so I'm not tripping. Um, I think... What, what happens? Okay, yeah, I'm trying to get the spec catch to work some more. It's actually a bit harder to run the spec catch in this game than it is in Madden 13. In Madden 13, I could just throw up a fade or a streak and get my offensive users to come down with the ball for me. And I, I really... I, right there, I was trying to press LT because I'm trying to get used to the controls. And I pressed LB, and thankfully I didn't lateral or fumble, because that would have pissed me off. So, again, trying to use the FL screen, and look at Hamburglar not blocking for me. Now, right there, I was curious to see whether this would work twice, and it would have if that guard right there didn't, uh, didn't block him, but it doesn't matter, because we get a pick with Earl Thomas, arguably the best safety in the NFL. I'd put him up there with Ed Reed, but I like Thomas because he's younger. And I get the ball back. There's not that much time. I'm not trying to run out the the clock with running. I'm trying to test out plays, obviously. Go to the FL screen again, because I want to get the first down for now. And we find a, har a wide open Percy Harvin. And again, he's trucking everybody. I don't get it. Let me know what you think about him doing that. But, um... <laughs> you can see my, my stick just going crazy there with uh, Golden Tate. And I think, again, he hit off the back of the O-line, Russell Wilson's throw that being. And, again, we're just trying to get a spec catch going just before the end of the game, which is right now. So I do up, end up winning 21-14, to 14, you know, testing out some new stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, rate, subscribe.